वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड मे बी आफ्टरनून फ्रॉम द सेवेंटी सेवेंथ नैटकॉन नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन टूबरकोलोसिस एंड चेस्ट डिजीजेज विच इज़ बीन हेल्ड इन आगरा एंड टूडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट विथ अस शी इज़ नन अदर दैन डॉक्टर पदम प्रिय दर्शनी डायरेक्टर ऑफ इंडियाज नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर रिसर्च इन टूबरकोलोसिस or nirt as it is called welcome ma'am thank you and we are really indeed honored to have you with us uh, nirt has been doing exemplary work in the field of tb research and there are now news that there are some new tb vaccines in the offing like in the course of uh, trials being run in india so could you just uh, explain a little bit uh, about that and increase our knowledge of, on what is forthcoming because till now the only vaccine available we know is the bcg vaccine for children so what's new which we can expect uh yeah so uh, what icmr and nirt is involved is one is a tb preventive vaccine so uh, what we're trying to do here is tb patients household gets screened for tb and if somebody the household does not have tb he is given a tb preventive vaccine and then they are followed up for a period of 2 years to see whether they do not develop tb now this is this is a trial mode it is being done across the country in 12 sites and we expect the results to be available you know by end of march or early april to know that this vaccine would be helpful in preventing tb the reason because we know the household contacts of a tb patient they have a higher risk of developing tb for the simple reason they're exposed right they they get uh, they live with the same patient they're getting exposed to more bacilli so the probability of them developing tb is high so we hope this vaccine would help in preventing of tb so for how long have these trials been going on then so i think this trial is now on for almost uh, two and a half to three years okay. mm-hmm. and uh, very soon we expect mm-hmm. good results mm-hmm. okay that is one and second we are now in a planning stage of bcg revaccination hmm. or bcg vaccination adult population the few countries that they have already trying this bcg uh, in adult hmm. to see whether that would help prevent tb um, few small studies uh, has shown that increases the immunity of an individual few laboratory studies immunological studies have shown that so it is also now being planned whether bcg can be used as a adult vaccination to prevent tb so hopefully we should uh, start once we are ready okay. it is still in the planning stage and that is called the bcg recombinant vaccine or what do you call no no the okay. one that is currently ongoing which okay. we have completed uh, now and the results are expected is the recombinant bcg okay. okay this would be the regular bcg okay so uh, and uh, the bcg which is given to the children that will continue there's n- nothing no 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 there's that. nothing the whatever no. vaccination program is currently ongoing that mm-hmm. will that mm-hmm. will continue mm-hmm. there is no change mm-hmm. uh, the recombinant vaccination is completed almost all the enrollments are over mm-hmm. uh, it's just a follow up going on and uh, we should expect the results also sometime by april okay. early april what is immuvac we heard the name immuvac which which so the 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 trial that is going on is uh, it's got three groups okay one group got the recombinant bcg the other group got the imovac mm-hmm. the third group was a who was followed up standard of care mm-hmm. so these two groups we will know which group has got less number of tb breakdown which group is doing better and accordingly we could take a decision which vaccine works so immuvac what is immuvac what is it? so immuvac is again it's a type of uh, tb vaccine uh, it is a it's a different vaccine so in bcg recombinant it was a different kind of a bcg vaccine recombinant vaccine immuvac is another type of tb vaccine hmm. uh, which has been earlier used or you know even now it was tried in leprosy patients because it is all the same family of mycobacterium so that has been now tried for prevention of tb all right It's TB preventive vaccine. It's a TB preventive vaccine, but the results of that will also be. So it is in the same trial, in the okay, same, same study. Trial. You okay. had three groups, right? Mm-hmm. So one group got this, one group got uh, mm-hmm. MIP or the Imovac, the mm-hmm. other group for standard of care. Right. So you'll have the results coming out from the trial. Uh, maybe next month or so. Or it, yeah, we maybe. expect okay. it should be by end of March or early April. Okay. Uh, in case we get positive results, uh-huh. then how long will it take for? 
can we have some hope when when uh, do we expect it to be available for the, yeah after so if the results uh, so the first results would come hmm. out now hmm. based on that we'll have to see whether we need to wait a little longer for more results mm -hmm. or the results are good enough for us to take a decision okay so icmr would do this analysis and give the results mm -hmm. the program managers should take based on the results then we can decide on the next step Right. Are similar studies going on outside of India also on these? Uh, yeah. So the the recombinant BCG is also being used in Bangladesh as preventing TB recurrence. Okay. So it is again a study or trial that's mm -hmm. been done both in India and in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Few centers in India are also part of it, mm -hmm. where it is given to treated TB patients. All right. That is mainly to prevent recurrence of TB. You know, TB mm -hmm. coming once again. Mm -hmm. So that is also ongoing in both the countries, and the results are sometime expected at the same time around okay. February, mm -hmm. end Feb or early March, mm -hmm. and we will know whether that again the result is good enough, you know, to take the decisive decisions on that, mm -hmm. or you need some more data to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And if you back anywhere else, or maybe there are other countries also. Doing yeah, but currently for TB, it's only we are trying. All right. Now coming back and hoping that uh, then again I uh, back to my uh, other question. When do we expect that if everything goes well in the right direction, any any timeline means not exact timeline, but yeah, how long? I think like we... you even I am very eagerly waiting to know when this uh, uh -huh. vaccination could all be rolled out or. Things like that, but we have to wait. Now we have waited for so long, another yes. month. Yes. Uh, you know, rather than giving any false hopes, right. I think we have to wait for solid results mm -hmm. to come. Mm -hmm. uh, end of March, April. Uh, let's wait for the results. All right. Now, again, we were talking of acceptance of the vaccine or any new drug which comes out. Uh, say, if you take the example of India for the existing BCG vaccine, mm -hmm. it's about hundred more than hundred years old. And uh, uh, from what I remember in the 1980s, I think the uptake was 4% or so, and right now it's 90% of the newborns getting vaccinated. So uh, why did it take so long for the uptake of that vaccine? Any, any of your thoughts on that? And why is it still not 100%? That's the only vaccine we have, of course, uh, to at least prevent uh, severe forms of tuberculosis in mm -hmm. children. Mm -hmm. So. Um, where was the hesitancy, whether it was vaccine hesitancy, that we had the vaccine but we could not uh, give it? No, to but for TB vaccine, BCG mm. vaccine for new newborns yes. has been there in the program now for long. So yes. what we're talking about 4% was in the 1980s. Yes, yeah, it yes. was very old data. Yes. So now yes. once BCG has become part of the immunization program, mm. the uptake has been good because every child born in a, in a setup, in a government setup oh, yeah. or mm. in a hospital, mm. Mm. As per the immunization program of the country, mm. gets the BCG vaccine, mm. gets the six major disease vaccine, and now we have an expanded vaccination mm. program. Also. Mm. The hesitancy would be when you're trying to introduce a new vaccine. Mm. Yes. That is when we have to see the acceptance rate. Mm. And for that, what we would need is awareness. Mm. Awareness in the public about why this vaccine, whether the vaccine is safe. We saw the similar thing even in COVID. Right? Yes, right. We saw. The acceptance was COVID vaccine was initially with a lot of hesitancy. Yes, yes, yes. So I think it's basically we have to create awareness among the general public that this vaccine is safe. First thing would be safety. Second, how, what and how does it you know, protect? Because we'll be giving this vaccine, whatever vaccine comes out, it does protect. Or how long it protects, it is safe. You know, that kind of a confidence must be developed. I think the uptake of any vaccine will be good. Yes, so so that has to start earlier, much yes, before yes. than the vaccine comes into the I market. I think even now for TB vaccine, there yes. are studies going on to look at the feasibility, acceptancy, or mm -hmm. why. What is the reason for why people do not want to take yes. uh, hesitancy? All that is being studied in various pockets. Mm -hmm. So I think by the time we have the vaccine ready, we would have results on all this also. Then it will be easy for us to plan and take it forward. And also, as you said, in the case of the existing BCG vaccine, that once it became part of the government program, government <laughs> immunization program. So you think that will help? If it that become, will definitely help. It be, if it yes. becomes so part it, of... So it's a joint venture, you know. Nothing mm -hmm. can be done... Yes. Uh, 
individually now the private sector the public sector the government sector they all come together and work together then everything moves faster mm -hmm. not yes. only the new drugs new vaccine everything right. so it will be a joint work between the manufacturers the government public and uh, private doctors everybody work together and this will the uptake would be faster and more faster all right regarding tb care and control maybe it's a cliche question i'm asking you but uh, like uh, india has uh, the goal of ending tuberculosis by 2025 uh, where are we in terms of prevention that prevention is a very important for diagnosis treatment all right but yeah. it is important not to have any new person infected with tuberculosis so where are we and what needs to be done more for yeah prevention so i think prevention you know like we already know from uh you know even on household prevention starts at home prevention doesn't start you know outside anywhere in the hospital or in the school it should start at home and tb prevention though we have talked about lot of drugs and vaccine it should start on basic simple etiquette when you cough you close your mouth and cough you know you have a handkerchief in your hand you go home and go out and come back wash your hands wash your legs in fact we were following the simple measures in covid but how many of us continue to do it now we don't know anybody is coughing mask ka culture tha abhi so prevention starts at home simple methods like uh, close your mouth do not spit everywhere all the simple measures of tb prevention so airborne disease so in a crowd you know even if you don't have a handkerchief there are specific ways how you can prevent the spread of uh, aerosols all that has to be followed second awareness 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 people have to know the stigma attached to the disease people are so afraid to even talk about tb you have boards everywhere about hiv prevention but we should also have more boards about tb prevention awareness is second factor and then you can talk about uh, drugs and vaccines so you know that should also gear up by the time uh, community involvement, involvement again, is very very important i think community schools every thing is very important for that matter for prevention it's a primordial prevention as you are saying because i would like i share a personal example i was in thailand recently this uh, two months ago and there i found by default everyone was wearing a mask hmm. at least the thai population even two year old children like it had become a way of life for them is correct uh, i felt uh, sort of left out if i was going without a mask in any public place so uh, yeah. that sort of uh, awareness and that sort of health seeking behavior i think as you are saying for tb and for so many other it doesn't have to be tb or covid any, you know any other any yes. airborne infection exactly exactly any airborne infection and that sort of i found was ingrained in the psyche now that i would find nobody without a mask it's yes. like you have a common cold you have to wear a mask yes yes it is not that because you wear a mask you may be covid infected no. that is not that yes yes so that kind of a thing should start even from school even yes. from home you know then it becomes part like you said it's part of your life it becomes ingrained in the psyche ki if i have a cough or zukam hai to i have to wear a mask huh that But kind of yes thing. that was that was sort of part of that dress code that everyone <laughs> Marks. So, anything else you would like to share regarding tuberculosis? You have done such exemplary work, uh, uh, doctor. So, anything so, else you would like to share? Yeah. So, one part? thing I really want to share, like I keep on telling, it's awareness, awareness, awareness. Two weeks of cough or even two weeks of fever. Please approach your healthcare provider. It may not at all be TB. I'm not saying every cough is TB. It's not at all TB. But the simple thought of if I have cough. if i have fever i have to go to a medical uh, you know a healthcare person ph public health institutes any 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 place close to your house maybe it's a male a, a women children elderly everybody so this message if it goes there awareness about tb is something very very important and that is what i would like to share with you at this moment yes the drugs vaccines will come later But the simple fact of approaching a medical center for a diagnosis any disease is very important any special message for the women yeah so women what happened they you know matra shakti we we give so much of importance to women in a family she runs the whole family unfortunately she is the last person to take care of health you know she takes care of everybody in the house so the request here would be if your mother is coughing if your wife is coughing she is not well she has got fever please take her to the nearest medical center request to all the brothers the husbands the fathers there 
take care of the girl child take care of the women they also have to have equal uh, rights to the uh, health care thank you very much we were in conversation with dr padam priyadarshini director of india's national institute for research in tuberculosis thank you very much thank you, thank you.